Hey guys, as of July 2023, there has been a visual update on the family sharing and I'm going to show you how it looks now. So without further ado, let's uh, uh, jump into it. So first we're going to go to Steam in the top left corner. We're going to go to settings and then we're going to click on family section on the left side. So here we have to first authorize the library sharing on this device. Uh, we have to do it by enabling it like this. And then um, under eligible accounts, you're going to see accounts that have been logged onto this PC. So in order for the accounts to appear under eligible account section, the accounts first have to log on to this PC that you currently have. And afterwards, when you log off and you log back into your account, you're going to be able to see those accounts in this section. And if I click on this button, it means I will share and project my games from my library to Capitalini's Steam library. So he can go on his account and play the games on his PC, of course. But first of all, his account has to be logged on mine in order to receive my games. So if I want to use his games, I need to log into his PC. Then he needs to authorize library sharing on this device and enable my account, which is currently called a Soviet Monkey. And that way I'll, the games will appear in the Steam library. Uh, I'll show this how it looks in a minute. But first, I also want to show you one more thing. And this is show notification when shared libraries become available. Always have this turned on because it's very important because only one user can be using the uh, uh, library so if that is not the case and if the first owner wants to use his library then it's going to disconnect you within roughly 15 minutes from um, the game that you're currently playing so it's always good to know when the real owner of the game logs onto the account so you're aware that you could be disconnected you know shortly Okay, so that's that's one thing to mention and basically there is no save button because right now on Steam everything is automatic so just click X and that's pretty much about it. Now let's go to library where you can see those games. And one of those games that I have borrowed from another guy is a guy named Capitalini that I've already previously mentioned. And as you can see I will be downloading uh, so from his library. So if we go back and check into the settings and family um, I currently do not have him as an eligible account to share my games to his library, but he has enabled my account on, you know, on his account to share the games, you know, from his library to my library. That's why it's, I, I can see the games that he has right now. Anyways, so I can click on install and this will install the game. It's pretty much as simple as that. You might see the borrowed button here, uh, but usually just install. If you see a pay button, it means that he has not properly shared uh, the account, uh, sorry, his Steam library with you, which means that if you go back to settings and then go to family, he hasn't enabled you right here, but he did, did enable, for example, the library sharing. So you must be sure that he has enabled both buttons. So one is for the library sharing and the other one is to share to your account on his uh, account on his side, of course. Okay, so that's basically about this. Right now we're going to go through a couple of scenarios that you really need to be aware of when family sharing is actually useful. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now that I've shown you how to share the Steam libraries, I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios that you're definitely going to run into while using someone else's library. Scenario number one. Can you play the same game from the same library at the same time? The answer is no, you cannot. You cannot only have one copy of the game and using multiple accounts to use that one copy of the game at the same time. It's just not possible. Scenario number two. Can you play a different game from the same library at the same time? No, you cannot even do that. You, cannot, you can only use someone's Steam library when they're not using it, meaning they're not playing any game in their own Steam library. However, Beware because if your friend logs back into his account and wants to play, you will get a 15 minute disconnect timer after which you will be disconnected from his library. And to be honest, if he's being a very mean person, he can even go into his settings and unauthorize you from which yeah, you will be immediately disconnected. So this begs the question, when is Steam family sharing even remotely useful? And the answer is it's complete garbage. It is not useful. 
However, there are two scenarios in which it can be useful. And that is scenario number one. When your friend is offline and you're playing the game from his library. And scenario number two, when your friend and you are playing from each other's library. So the rule is one Steam library equals one concurrent Steam account using it. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.